This is our latest entry on distrohunt.org and has been a hot topic of discussion at cupoflinux.com. Why have just Windows when you can have the whole cottage? We are looking at Chalet OS right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's get started. All right, upon first glance, I really like the look and feel that Chalet OS brings to the table. This is an Ubuntu derivative, or Zubuntu derivative, I should say, that uses the XFCE desktop, and it gives you a Windows 8 look and feel. The concept behind this distribution is to help uh, people who are transitioning over to Linux stick with it. And this gives that end user the air of familiarity you would come to expect. This distro weighs in at 1.6 gigs. So this has most of the software selections uh, that you would come to expect on a common distribution in use today. Also, the theming is very nice on this as well. Uh, when initially launched and loaded without running any applications, Conky is telling me this is using uh, 295 megabytes of RAM, which is fine for uh, most computers today. Also, I wanted to mention that this is built on top of the Ubuntu 14.04 long-term support model. Let's have a look and see what you get with this. I really like the icon set. This is pretty neat. And something else that really caught my eye that you don't commonly see on mo most XFCE desktops is that they built an in-house uh, style changer. When you load this, you have some options. They have some main styles, so you can choose their white style, a blue style, or you can just go ahead and make your own custom style with this. And I had a chance to play with it a little bit. You can, uh, you know, set some transparencies, and you can choose um, some different, um, some different. Uh, you know, you know, as you can see in the screenshot, you can see some transparency settings and stuff like that. But really, I'm not into all of that kind of glitz. And then, of course, you can give it a Windows 8 or 10-like window decoration. Uh, you can also uh, select theme wallpaper with this. I thought this was pretty neat. And basically, what it does, what it does is it just runs some uh, scripts that pretty much switch out and change everything for you. I thought that was really nice. But after looking at all the themes, I just decided to stick with this really nice blue theme that this ship with. If we look on the lower right, the icons from right to left are as follows. You can uh, collapse all windows to show the desktop. You have the time along with a calendar. Your network connectivity option. You also have a volume control and then a weather indicator, which you will manually change to your locale to get the local weather in your area. And then on the left here, you have uh, a nice little uh, menu that pops up to give you some options, such as your settings manager. We'll get into that in a moment. You can uh, kill the system monitor if necessary, or just turn off Conky, which is displaying up here on the screen. Catfish is included for file search. And then, of course, you can launch a terminal edit, uh, emulator if you ever need to run any commands with this. Next, we'll look at our file manager, and this is using Thunar. I really like the attention of, to detail that went into this. You know, uh, all the icons are big, very easy to read, but you can change this in the preferences if you want to make the icons a little bit smaller. But I really like how professional this looks and feels. Thunderbird and Firefox come preloaded with this, so now you can manage your mail and surf the internet. Chalet OS comes with the Whisker menu, which is very popular on XFCE desktops. And again, I like the way that this looks and feels. Uh, it does give you a sense of familiarity if you're coming over from the Windows OS over to Linux. Uh, it's very nice what he's included, and he's bundled in a bunch of really nice applications with this as well. 
quick access to your web browser, your mail reader. Pigeon, for those of you who are into instant messaging. Audacious for managing all of your audio. You have a, a great little radio player. Didn't really get a chance to mess with that one as I'm a Pandora fan myself. You also get the Ubuntu Software Center with this, which will let you download and easily install any package you could possibly want. And then we've already looked at the file manager. Games, just a very small selection. Uh, 2048, which I wasn't able to get working at all for the life of me, but the Isle Riot soft Solitaire work great. And then, of course, Play on Linux is included. And it kind of threw me a little bit because this icon set is a little bit different. And this is like a film strip that it's showing for Play on Linux. And, you know, I'm accustomed to seeing uh, their logo, which is a little bit more colorful. But Play on Linux, at any rate, will attempt to help you get Windows programs and applications running on this OS. You can search my channel. I do have a few Play on Linux videos uh, to help you get started. A mild selection for graphics is included, such as the GIMP, a simple document viewer, Restrito image viewer, and a simple scanning utility. In Internet, we have an interesting selection that is bundled up here in, with inclusion of Firefox, the radio player I talked about earlier, and Pigeon. You also get popcorn time for streaming video through BitTorrent. Uh, Thunderbird mail and transmission comes included with this as well. Several multimedia applications to allow you to do most things are also thrown in as well. You get Audacious, an, a simple audio recorder, Brazero for burning your discs, Cheese for uh, your webcam, you get Pulse Audio, and then VLC. Chalet OS comes with a bundle of software preloaded for getting your documents published at home. You have Adobe Reader installed with this. A dictionary is included. A document viewer. Right? And then, of course, you get the Kingsoft Office Suite. Now, this one is currently in alpha, but after looking at it a little bit, it seemed to perform just fine, but it did give a warning message. Uh, I've tried the Kingsoft products on my Android device, and they are absolutely magnificent. And so it was very nice that he included this suite in with his distribution. In the settings area, everything you need to make this distribution your own is included here. And of course, you can click the button right here for settings, and everything is, rather than just finding things in the menu, you can just pick out whatever it is you want to change. And I really like how we laid everything out, even the uh, style changer that we looked at earlier is in here. So if you wanted to remove all icons from your desktop, you could do that because everything that you need for configuring your system is located right here, and it's very easy to do. A few additional system programs are included with this. Among them are BleachBit, which happens to be my favorite cleaning system for Linux. I use it myself. It's an awesome tool. GW Package Installer is included with this, along with the Synaptic Package Manager, and of course, you have a simple task manager available to you as well. And then, of course, Wine is included with this, with the front end play on Linux, but you could run Wine by itself if you wanted to. This has Wine tricks. You can configure Wine and that sort of thing. So this is included with that. But something to keep in mind, though, uh, it, you know, if you have something installed directly in Wine, you wouldn't be able to use like Wine tricks with Play on Linux because it has its own uh, configuration utilities and everything uh, loaded in with that. So at the end of the day, in looking at Chalet OS, this does live up to the claims that was submitted by the developer on our distro hunt listing. If you're looking for a lightweight Linux distribution to try out and you're just coming over from Windows, Chalet OS may be a nice option for you. In the description below, there is a link to the distro hunt listing. From there, you can get support. You can uh, find links for download and more information on this distribution. I also had a discussion with Fishman Loves Linux this morning, and he said that he's downloaded this and he's tried it out, and so far he really likes what he sees, so I'm waiting to hear a little bit more from him. But this is definitely a good option and a welcome addition to distrohunt.org. As a reminder, everything that happens with Cup of Linux happens at 
cupoflinux.com. Please point your web browser there. We have all kinds of fun activities. It's a great place where you can hang out and discuss Linux, GNU Linux, and BSD with others. We also have uh, an instant messaging system included so that you can uh, private message with your friends. We've got uh, text chat and then, of course, voice chat. Uh, as we've been going along, more and more features have been added. So if you have not seen us at cupoflinux.com, I highly recommend that you check us out because really <laughs> more activity is happening at Cup of Linux than, than what's happening on the YouTube channel. And it's the best way to interact with me personally because I do not read comments on YouTube. So you'll definitely want to check us out at cupoflinux.com because that's where all the fun happens. Well, that's all I have for now. We'll catch you later. Thank you.